tail. Oh, no. Oh, got it. Got it. Goldie. Time to get to milking. Everett is going to muck. Thank you. Watch out for the big piles of poop. We muck every day in this area because this is where we have them sleeping for now. It's a system that works, but it allows us to harvest their poop for making compost, compost tea, all that good stuff. But it is a lot more work, like labor intensive, having to muck every single morning. Okay, so we have a big day today. It's a lot of cow chore day. We bought a hay net, which hopefully will help us keep our hay from getting ruined from the cows. It'll just help the hay go farther, hopefully. I need to retrofit and fix our milking stanchion so that we can lock Goldie's head in there because we had a guy come and do the beginning of the artificial insemination for Goldie to get her pregnant. Okay, so, so just like she that. She didn't even react. So just Good hit girl. it, Good girl, baby. bump it, hit it, and do it. All right. She is done. And we'll need to, the, he insulted this thing called a CIDR, Cedar. And then I have to give him, her a shot t today, this evening, and then pull that thing out. The tasks that we have to do today. Goldie. 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 Okay, can you see? Can you see that blue thing right there that I got? I got to pull that out of her, her vagina, her backside. No, 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 Goldie, 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 no, Goldie, no, no, no. Just go back in. You're fine. All right, Goldie girl. There we go. This is, should be, the hay net. It was kind of a lot of money, like 170 bucks. Oh. All right, this is about a place called Tex Texas Hay Net. That's all busted. Now Everett and I are going to attempt to do this. Oh, goodness. That is heavy now. Let me try. Well, okay, one, well, one, two. But we're gonna have to do it. Hopefully we're just, Scooping and piling. Scooping, piling, and then we're gonna put the net on. And hopefully, okay. You grab that on this side. So try to roll it out that way. So can you can you climb up there? And, try. Yeah, keep going. Oh. Whoa. And. Pull this yellow. Okay. Yeah, but what if they eat the net? Okay. Well, kind of worked, but then. There's all this. So really, the main way to do this is whenever you have a fresh round bale. Not quite sure how to do it, but uh, we'll figure it out. All right, well that's nice and tight right there. Oh yeah, that's a big one. What this is supposed to be. So yeah, you definitely need to do this with a fresh bale. This will hopefully help them slow down and be less wasteful with the hay. Ta -da. I know. So now we're gonna try uh -huh. to lean it. Just lean it. I got it. Okay, now. Whoa. Okay. Uh. Yep. A few moments later. 
Taco's trying to figure it out. These cows are spoiled for sure. So it might take them a day or so. Okay, now it's time to retrofit this milking stanchion. So the problem with this stanchion, I didn't trust the, the design of it from Justin's, Justin Rose, this is his design. I, it just seemed super duper tight and uh, it was, and that's on purpose. The fact that I did it this way is not very good. <laughs> it's fine for milking right now, but we really need to squeeze her in. So something that happens is whenever we lock her head in, she freaks out and her legs, her back legs just go wide. You're all right, you're okay, you're okay, you're all right, you're all right, you're okay, you're all right. <laughs> and so she does the splits all the way down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these boards down low like this so that if she tries, it'll give her some resistance here. This board would be way too low for milking because I sit there and my hands, I couldn't reach her udders, but uh, just for today and just rigging it, it'll allow me hopefully a way to get her in there, lock her in, and make her feel a little bit more snug in here. I hope this is gonna work. We're just gonna go for it. A good failing homesteader. That's what we're gonna try to do. So there we go, that's there. And I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna chop this off at an angle a little bit. Easy peasy. See, doing homestead stuff today. Building stuff and not afraid to fail. So again, probably don't even need these screws over here, but just in case it gets a little wobbly and something happens, it will help our success rate a little bit. I have no idea if it's gonna work, no idea. So we'll get that cow in here. Hopefully that will snug her up. Uh, what I might also do is figure out a way to brace this behind her so that if she tries to back out all the way, that, that a chain or something will hit her butt. All right, so that's it for the building project that this afternoon. Now it's time to get cleaned up, get a little work done, and then later this afternoon, we're gonna give her a shot, progesterone or some kind of hormone, and then also get that cedar blue stringy thingy out. All right, you guys, uh, it is done. Finally, finally, finally. The workbook for the Get Off Your Tail and Homestead course is finally complete. We had to redo basically the entire thing in order to fit what the course is. Just a sneak peek real quick. I wanna show you. There it is, woohoo! Okay, so this is the course right here. And then here are the lessons in here. Oh, it's laid out so awesome. I'm excited. We have worked our tails. We we've gotten off of our tails and we've worked our tails off on this. We're behind a little bit because we ended up getting COVID and that just messed up everything. So we're behind schedule, but no matter what, join the wait list down below to get the introductory price. Now I'm gonna have to go give Goldie a shot of two cc's of Estramate. Don't know what that is some kind of hormone something for the cow for her to get to go into heat and then i take out the cedar s-i-d-r i don't know what that stands for but but it basically just puts goldie into heat so that uh, when the guy comes next week and shoves his arm into her i'm nervous about this where should I be? Like, I'm really nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna bring her in here. I'm gonna lock her head in. She's probably gonna thrash because she just doesn't like to get her head locked in. She's so calm, she milks perfectly without it, but I have to do it for this. And then hopefully these little pieces of board will 
keep her in and then I'm gonna give her the shot. Then I'm gonna take the pliers and pull out the thingamajigger. Goldie! Goldie! No, 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 Goldie. No, it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. No, Goldie, it's okay, baby. Nope, nope. Goldie, come on. No, Goldie. Gosh. Goldie! Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no! No! no. no. Nope. There you go, baby. It's okay, Goldie. No, Goldie, nope, nope. Uh-uh. Okay, so she did not like this. Let's see if this will help her. There we go. There we go. There's a... Dad, but how are we gonna get her from not going that way? I don't know. Goldie! Goldie! It's okay, baby. Let her eat some and Can get... we lock her gate? Her... Not yet. We're going to let her eat. Okay. Oh. oh! Come on, baby. Why didn't that drop? Okay, stop. Go over there. Go Don't over there. Do it. Nope, nope. Just... Goldie! Goldie! Nope, 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 nope. There you go. It's right there. Okay, Dad, I got this. Okay. Not yet. No, um, yet don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Just leave it there. Well, we got it. We got to get it. Hey. I'm going to turn this thing Shut off. Shut up, Ivrit. Sorry, thank you. Uh. Oh. 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 Okay. That was so much thicker than I thought. complicated there is no way we're going to get this cow artificially inseminated if I cannot get her to get locked in the stanchion she will go into the stanchion every single morning and be a pleasant pleasant milker but she you try to lock her neck in and uh-uh she hates it yes okay. will you please close that yes, 
I don't know what this thing is. But this has been in our cow for the last three weeks. I don't know if I keep it or if I throw it away or if I let Finley play with it. Oh! oh.